Sambutan. Kata sambutan dari uh, WD3 yaitu Bapak Dr. Fatur Rahman kepada beliau kami persilakan mungkin bisa di, uh, menggunakan waktu selama 15 menit ya Pak ya. Ya silakan. Pak Fatur mana ya? Pak Fatur apakah sudah datang? <laughs> Katanya tadi sudah datang. Uh, sebentar. Kalau apa? Kayaknya belum belum hadir ya. Tadi ke jam jam mau hadir. Gimana ya? Bu Ulfa, gimana Bu Ulfa? Bu Ulfa gimana? Bisa ngasih kata sambutan sedikit terlebih dahulu? Saya tunggu Pak Mater. Halo. Uh, nampaknya. Ulfanya juga belum. Ini ya. online ya, tapi di sini sudah hadir kayaknya ada. 
namanya. Uh, apa mau ditunggu dulu sampai jam 2 atau kita introduction dulu ke pengenalan ke Prof Davidnya bagaimana Mbak Titi? Bagaimana Bapak? Apa mau nunggu Pak Faturnya sampai jam 2 atau mau uh, beliau janji akan datang jam 2? Tadi tadi sih katanya jam 1.45 harusnya. Saya tadi udah stand by. Hmm. <laughs> Apa mau introduction ke Prof David dulu? Uh, Oke. Okay. Enggak apa-apa. Dia sepertinya sudah gabung di sini juga. Sebentar saya lihat dulu. Saya jadikan co-host saja ya Prof Davidnya ya. Oke. Okay. Apa kita langsung saja Pak ke acara inti tanpa kata sambutan atau gimana? Uh, mungkin uh, nanti kalau sudah datang profaturnya kita selipkan saja gimana jadi ini uh, caranya dimulai dulu atau gimana uh, boleh mungkin perkenalan, perkenalan dulu aja perkenalan Prof Davidnya sebelum oke okay, oke okay. uh, sambil menunggu Pak Faturnya atau Bu Ulfanya online daripada diam <laughs> gimana <laughs> Oke, okay. yeah. uh, sepertinya nampaknya sini sudah ada Profesor David Marsi from uh, Artois University in French. Uh, bonjour, Monsieur, Monsieur David. Bonjour. Oke, Dr. Marsi. Invitation. Excuse-moi, je veux parler anglais et Indonesia. <laughs> oh yes, uh, all right, of course. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I nice to, to meet you. I, I do not speak any Indonesian, so uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you, and I would say thank you for being a speaker in this lecture. Oh yes, uh, thank you to, to you for the, the invitation. Uh, it's a pleasure. Okay. Uh, okay. Mbak Fatur sudah datang, sebentar saya lihat dulu. Saya yeah. uh, Oke, okay. selamat siang Pak Fatur. Halo? Yes. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Uh, Professor David, before you speak, uh, we will hear uh, welcome speak from uh, Vice Dean, uh, Dr. Fatur Rahman. Yes, Dr. Fatur Rahman will give a welcome speak for 13 minutes. Silakan, Bapak Fatur. Halo. Uh, Pak bisa mendengar suara? Ah, oke. Okay. Sepertinya. Oke. Okay. Iya, uh, oke. Okay. Ini sudah sudah kedengaran suara saya? Sudah, sudah. Oke. Okay. Okay. Langsung masuk ke saya ya. Masuk aman, Pak. Halo? Halo. Iya, silakan, Bapak. Oke, okay. bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, kami atas nama pimpinan pertama mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Mr. David Mercier ya yang Profesor David Mercier dari University Artois Prancis ya. Selamat siang Prof David. Uh, he doesn't understand maybe. Uh... Oke okay, oke. Okay. Can you speak English? Good afternoon Prof David. Thank you. Uh, we so glad. Uh, Thank you. You present in our program, yeah. But uh, pardon me, I can to speak English uh, nicely. Uh, okay, okay. No. Is there for me? I want to translate my speech with Indonesian language. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter, bro. Okay. Okay. I will be continued my speech. Ah, uh, pertama. Saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Prof. David 
sudah hadir ya dalam acara kuliah umum yang diselenggarakan oleh Prodi Teknik Informatika eh, dengan topik An Introduction to Dem Sugar Theory of Belief Functions ya. Eh, saya kira kegiatan ini sangat bermanfaat bagi kita semua terutama mahasiswa teknik informatika. Karena apa? Karena eh, apa teori ini saya kira eh, menjadi salah satu modal sosial bagi teman-teman eh, mahasiswa terutama mahasiswa teknik informatika bagaimana memahami eh, dinamika teknik informatika di era digital ini. Dan apa yang diperakarasai oleh uh, prodi teknik informatika ini, saya kira juga bisa menjadi bekal ya bagi teman-teman. Uh, kami atas nama dekan, ya atas nama dekan Fakultas Sains dan Teknologi, dan mohon maaf uh, beliau tidak bisa hadir uh, dalam kegiatan ini. Beliau menyampaikan salam kepada Prof David, ya uh, uh, apa namanya, dan juga menyampaikan salam kepada teman-teman uh, dan serta mengapresiasi betul uh, kegiatan yang dilakukan oleh teknik informatika ini. Uh, Syukur-syukur kegiatan ini tidak hanya berhenti uh, saat ini, tapi juga ada kegiatan berkelanjutan yang bisa kita kerjasamakan ya, antara Fakultas Sains dan Teknologi dengan uh, Universitas uh, Darkois Prancis, gitu ya. Apalagi Prof David ini sudah hadir bersama kita. Ibu Siti Mutmaina barangkali juga menjadi translator ya nanti ya. Oke, okay. nah, bisa menerjemahkan uh, apa pokok-pokok pikiran dari yang disampaikan oleh Prof David, gitu ya. Uh, saya kira itu uh, sambutan uh, sementara yang bisa saya sampaikan. Saya tidak bisa berlama-lama karena ini uh, saya kebetulan juga ada rapat uh, fakultas juga, ya. Uh, sekali lagi kami atas nama pimpinan Fakultas Sains dan Teknologi uh, mengapresiasi dan Semoga kegiatan ini bisa berjalan lancar. Ya. Saya kira itu yang bisa saya sampaikan pada kesempatan kali ini. Kurang lebihnya mohon maaf. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, uh, Dr. Fatur Rahman, for uh, his speech. Um, well, uh, as I mentioned before, we have already invited a special speaker today. Uh, with my pleasure, I am going to introduce him. He is Professor David Marseille from Artois University in France. So, jadi kami sudah mengundang <coughs> narasumber pada perkuliahan umum ini. Beliau adalah Profesor David Marseille dari uh, Universitas Artois di Prancis. Beliau adalah peneliti dan pengajar dari universitas tersebut. So, jadi mungkin uh, <coughs> kita akan mulai segera. Dan nanti mungkin uh, nanti akan saya bagi menjadi dua sesi ya, dua apa ya, dua bagian. Uh, sebentar, saya lihat dulu. Oke, okay, I will divide uh, this lecture into two parts. Part one, uh, it is about an introduction to be, to them store software theory of belief function, and part two. It is about an introduction to belief function correction. So, Professor David, are you ready with your presentation? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, uh, so everybody, please welcome Professor David Marseille. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I'm going to share my screen. Yes, here. And um, So I'm going to divide my, my talk uh, into uh, two, two parts. Uh, one part is going to be a, a, a very uh, gentle introduction to, 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 to belief function uh, and what, he, what it is. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so everybody can see my, my screen, yes? Um, yes. Uh, yes, we can see your screen. Okay, so um, what is a dempster Schaeffer theory of, of belief functions? So dempster Schaeffer theory of belief function, in fact, is a flexible uh, mathematical framework for uh, dealing with uh, imperfect information. 
uh, I'm going to explain a, a bit uh, uh, after what we intend by uh, imperfect information. Uh, so it has uh, several uh, names. Uh, it can be called dempster Schaeffer theory or evidence theory or belief function theory. It has been introduced by uh, uh, Dempster uh, in uh, the 60s. Uh, it originally for statistical uh, inference uh, and it has been developed by Schaeffer later in the in 1970s uh, in, a, in a book, uh, uh, in a famous book, in fact, uh, that I, I will bring to present it uh, later. Um, and uh, the particularity of this theory is that it encompasses, uh, it is more general than probability theory and uh, set membership uh, approaches. Um, so it is very general. Uh, you can find many applications in the literature. Uh, in artificial intelligence, for example, in expert systems or machine learning, uh, and as well in engineering, information fusion. So my, my main domain, in fact, of research is about uh, information fusion. Uh, you have also application in statistical inferences, um, and also uh, more recently in, uh, in deep learning uh, also. Um, so uh, if you have uh, any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to interrupt. Uh, yes. uh, sorry, I, I forgot to remind. Uh, for all participants, you can uh, you can ask a question if you have any time, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, any time if you have, more, uh, uh, <laughs> in order to be more interactive, right? Yes, yes, because if I'm going to speak yeah. uh, three hours alone, I'm going to... <laughs> So jika bapak-bapak, uh, ibu-ibu sekalian dan teman-teman mahasiswa yeah, yeah. yang punya pertanyaan atau question, yeah, okay. silakan so, uh, bertanya. Ya, okay. yeah, oke, okay. silakan lanjutkan. I continue, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that's why the, the, the yes. beginning, in fact, is, is, is just to to put uh, in mind the, the fundamentals. Okay. okay. Uh, so it is going to be very uh, very simple. So, uh, in fact, we have different uh, kinds. Uh, different types of information, of imperfect information. Um, generally, the, the main uh, imperfection in information is, is about uh, the uncertainty of a proposition. For example, if I say I think John is a 1.8 meter tall, uh, in this case, the, the piece of information, the, the piece of evidence, the evidence John is uh, 1.8 meter tall is uncertain. It is a precise information. Uh, we think it's 1.8 meter. So the, the nature of the information is precise, but uh, it is uncertain. Um, also, we have another, so we have also the imprecision. And when we said uh, John is between 1.7 uh, meters and 1.9 meters uh, tall, in this case, we have a certain information. We are sure uh, that John uh, is, uh, is taller than 1.7 and uh, smaller than 1.9, uh, but it is imprecise, okay? And we can also have uh, an imprecise an uncertain proposition. Uh, for example, I think John is between 1.7 meters and uh, 1.9 meters tall. Uh, and so generally, the uncertainty is tackled uh, using a probability measure. There is a probability that John uh, is uh, 1.8 meters tall. And classically, the imprecision is tackled with set or with uh, interval. Um, and uh, probability, in fact, has problem to, to model the, the imprecision. It is, so as an example, uh, consider a horse race. Uh, so you have two, three horses, uh, H1, H2, and H3. There is a race, and uh, you, you want to know who is going to win the race. 
and you have a, an, a first expert who said uh, all three horses have an equal chance of winning, meaning that in fact the the horses are at the same level. Uh, uh, that they have an equal chance of uh, winning. So classically, in probability uh, theory, we modelize uh, this as an equal probability for each horse. Each horse has an equal chance of uh, winning. Uh, and now we have a second expert who said, uh, I have no idea. So it's, it's a complete ignorance. And in this case, classically, so it exists of imprecise model of, of probability to, to do this, but cl classically, uh, this complete state of ignorance is modeled using also uh, the same measure of probability. So here we have a, a problem is that two distinct uh, pieces of information are modeled identically. So they, they, they need here a, a need for a richer model. And it is this idea of uh, uh, the, the belief function theory to, 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 um, to encompass, in fact, these two power of modelization, the set and the probability. So uh, my, the outline of my presentation. So the first presentation uh, um, to introduce belief function is going to be divided in uh, uh, three parts, three main parts. I'm going to, to show how to represent the information with the belief function, how to, to, to combine this information. So to combine the information from different uh, experts and how we can make decisions. So, uh, in fact, so let's be more general. Uh, let us consider a, a variable of interest uh, X, uh, which takes its values in a finite set of hypotheses uh, omega. Uh, so omega is the universe, uh, and in the belief function uh, community, we call it the frame of discernment. But for, for those who know probabilities, it's just the universe. Uh, it, it, it is composed of the values uh, that X uh, can uh, take. So we call it omega, and it is composed of uh, hypotheses, omega, little omega one, omega two, uh, until omega k. So it has k elements. So for example, in the, in the horse race, the universe is uh, omega composed of H1, H2, and H3. Um, we have uh, three possible horses uh, who can win the, the, the race. Um, now, how to, to, to model the information from an expert? Uh, classically, uh, we can do it using a, a mass, what we call a mass function. A mass function uh, is defined as a mapping from uh, the power set of omega to uh, zero, one. And the only um, uh, equation to, to satisfy, the only condition to satisfy is that the sum of the masses uh, should be equal to, to one. So uh, we are, so if I, if I repeat, uh, we have a variable of interest X, which takes its value in omega. The true value is going to be denoted by omega zero. So omega zero is the true third value. Uh, in the race here, in fact, we are looking for the, the, the horse who is going to win. Um, and this information about omega zero can be modeled using this, this mass function. Uh, and, and the real, so between zero and one, m of a, and a, uh, sorry, a being a subset of omega, okay, it, so it represents the part of belief allocated to the hypothesis that the search to value omega zero belongs to A, to A and nothing more. Okay, so uh, if, I, if I, oh yes, I can make a draw, yes. So the, 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 the change with probabilities is that we can put on a set A, Okay, uh, a degree uh, M of A, uh, OK, 
okay. A degree m of uh, m of a about the fact that the true value omega zero, okay, is inside of a, and we have uh, no more information. We we know nothing. Okay, we just know that the uh, true value belongs to this set a. Okay. Uh, and after the uh, definition, a set A such that the mass of A is, is greater than uh, zero uh, is called the focal set of, of M. So the, the, the element, the subset of omega having a mass greater than zero are called focal set of M. So let us consider again uh, the Earth race uh, we are with the omega equal H1, H2, and three. So, now with um, this math function, it is we are able to, to modelize uh, more precisely, in fact, the ignorance. Uh, the first expert saying that the, the, the horses have a uh, strictly equal chance of winning. Uh, we retrieve, in fact, what we called uh, a Bayesian mass function, which is a probability distribution. Okay, uh, be careful. Um, it is not a probability measure because we do not have the, the additive property. We do not have uh, m of uh, m of uh, um, a plus f of f of m of uh, a bar equal to to one. We just have the sum of the masses equal to one. Uh, I'm going to to tell later uh, the link with this uh, probability measure. So here we have a probability distribution. Um, and when you have no ID, in fact, but then you, you just put a mass on the whole set equal to one. So if I, if I make a, 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 a draw again, um, up, in fact, you, you have the power set omega composed of the element H1, uh, H2, H3. Um, for the, the expert one, you, you have the focal element are H1, H2, and H3 here with a, a mass one third on each element. And the second, uh, uh, the second expert is modelized with. Here you have a subset A, in fact, of omega, which is omega, in fact, and you put on this omega the mass one. So here you can this uh, thing can be rewritten like this. Okay, you have a mass equal on omega equal to one, and you do not know what, what to do with the other element, okay? So uh, that's the, the difference in modeling the information with a um, uh, mass function. So that's the, the basic uh, idea. Uh, Now, some, some special cases for a uh, mass function. Uh, so if the evidence tells us that the truth is in A, a subset of omega, uh, for sure. So uh, for example, you, you, do, you, you know that uh, the winning force is going to be H1 or, or, or H2, then uh, in fact, you can put a, a, a mass You can put a, 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 a mass on uh, H1, H2, uh, which is equal to uh, one. Okay, and, and that is what we call a, a categorical or logical mass function, because in fact, it, it, it only says that the truth is a set. Okay, this is the link with the set, uh, in fact, with the set uh, theory or the membership uh, theory. Uh, up, sorry. Um, so M, uh, 
Uh, so uh, a categorical mass function on the subset A is going to be uh, not denoted by M with A as an index. Because we have M A of A, which is equal to one. All the masses are on this subset. Uh, so if, we, if you replace A by omega, we have uh, M of omega, which represents the total ignorance. Uh, and it is called the vacuous uh, mass function. Now, if all focal sets of M are singletons, okay, uh, so it is li like this. Here we have only focal elements which are singletons. Uh, then M is said to be Bayesian. And why Bayesian? Because it is equivalent to a probability distribution, okay? This is the element, okay, but once again, not a probability uh, measure, okay? Um, I will uh, show you the, the difference after. And uh, what we can see is that a mass function can thus be seen uh, as um, a generalized set and a generalized probability uh, distribution. So um, uh, SMETS, uh, S-M-E-T-S, so, uh, uh, um, in his uh, transferable belief model, uh, um, an interpretation, in fact, of the Bishopson theory, uh, said that um, uh, we can see uh, uh, mass function as weighted opinions, in fact. So uh, to represent an information, you have several functions, not only, in fact, the, the mass function. Uh, you have um, uh, the belief function and the plausibility function. A mass function M is in one-to-one -one correspondence, uh, meaning that each function uh, represents the same information. So you can, instead of representing the information with M, you can choose to represent it with, uh, for example, a belief function. A belief function, so Bell, denoted by Bell, is defined for all subsets of omega by uh, the belief of A is equal to the sum of the masses MB, uh, such that um, B is included in A. Okay, so in fact, Bell of A represents the total degree of belief, of belief supporting the fact that the true value, the one we search, is included in A, okay? And we have another measure, which is called the plausibility function, PL, uh, which is defined by the sum of the masses uh, such that um, B intersected with A is not equal to the empty set. So PL of A represents the total sum of belief, in fact, which are not in contradiction with A which are not in contradiction. So it is a kind of, uh, of uh, optimistic, optimistic measure. So let's uh, see a, a, an example. So here we consider a mass function uh, on the frame of descendant ABC. Uh, you have M of A equal uh, 0.3, M of B equal 0.4, and M of omega equal 0.3. Uh, so, uh, you see, it is, it is a mass function. The sum of the masses um, uh, is equal to one. So how, how to compute um, the, how, how to compute the belief function? So we have that the belief function is equal to the sum of the masses which are included. Um, so, here, so here you can represent sorry, a, a mass function uh, in this uh, way. Here you have all the possible uh, subset of uh, omega. Okay. Um, uh, 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 do, do you see the, the arrow uh, when I do this? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure. And what, one way, in fact, of uh, to model uh, a mass function, you, you can, you can uh, choose, in fact, the, this binary uh, representation. You know, here we have um, uh, three elements, A, B, C. Uh, so 
uh, I'm going to start like this. So here it is a bit for A, a bit for B, a bit for C. And so we can represent in a binary way the, the all the subset of omega. Uh, so it is in a, it is convenient, in fact, uh, for representing um, uh, a mass function. So for example, here I'm going to write uh, all the binary number between zero and uh, and uh, seven. Okay, like this. And here you achieve, so here uh, we do not have C, we do not have B, we do not have A, so it is the empty set. Uh, here we only have A, it is the subset of the singleton A. Here we have singleton B. Here we have A union B. Here uh, it is for C, etc. So it is a, a convenient way to represent, in fact, a vector. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, in, in maybe I'm going to talk about the implementation. Uh, it is um, it is interesting to 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 add this, and then so uh, the belief uh, we have the belief so the belief of the empty set is always equal to zero. So when I have no number, it is a zero value. Uh, so bell of a in fact is equal to m of a. In a, you you only have a included. So here in fact uh, we have point three. In b we have the the belief in uh, singletons is equal to the mass on the singleton. Now, for A, B, in fact, you have uh, the, the belief that the, the truth is in B, uh, you have a mass on A, so it is 0.3, and you have a mass on B, which is uh, 0.4. So the, your total belief that the truth is in A, is A or B, is equal to 0.7. So it's in C0, in A, 0.3, etc. So in fact, uh, we have, uh, sorry, okay, we have finally this 0.3 uh, for B, 0.4 for B, then here, the, the mass, the sum, sorry, the sum of the elements which are included. So M of A plus M of B. Here you have M of A, here M of uh, B, and here you have the sum. So in A, B, C, A is included, B is included, uh, and uh, A, C is included. So you have the sum. And if you look at the plausibility uh, measure, uh, here you can see that it is more optimist. We, we can we, we make the sum uh, of the masses which do not contradict the fact that the truth uh, may be A. So we have the mass on, on A and also here the mass on A, B, C. Because if the, if the truth is A, uh, the mass on A, B, C does not contradict the fact uh, that it could be a, a point six. Okay, so here, uh, you, you have a kind of uh, uh, strict measure, and here you have an optimistic measure uh, about this. So here are the purposes uh, uh, on this element. You have the, the belief on the empty set is equal to the plausibility of the empty set is equal to zero. Uh, the belief on the power set is not uh, always equal to um, to, uh, to one because you can have uh, a mass on the empty set which could be a positive, okay? Uh, the, the belief is always lower than the plausibility. Uh, the plausibility is equal to one minus the, the belief on the contrary of A. And here is the link with probabilities. Uh, if M is a Bayesian mass function, meaning there is only uh, focal em elements which are singletons, then the belief is equal to the plausibility and is in fact a, a probability measure. Okay, so here you retrieve uh, the, the classical probability uh, COE uh, with B, with M is not a probability, but Bell and PL is a probability in this case. Uh, now we, ha we have also a, a link 
who is the possibility uh, uh, theory introduced by uh, Dan, uh, Dubois and Prad, uh, and also uh, uh, by Zadeh. Uh, so if M is a consonant, meaning that its focal elements are nested, so it means that you can order the focal element uh, of M uh, like this. You have A1 included in A2 and included in AN. So if we have a, a mass function uh, with nested uh, focal element, in fact, you retrieve um, plausibility as a possibility measure and Bell as a necessity measure. So this, uh, it is called um, uh, the, the possibility theory, okay? Um, another theory to represent uh, in, in precision. Uh, now, when you, you have uh, represented the information, you want to, to combine them, how to, 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 to make a, a synthesis of this uh, information. So here I'm going to represent, uh, to, to present uh, two classical rules. Uh, the first one is called the conjunctive rule of combination. So if you have two mass functions, M1 uh, and M2, uh, coming from two reliable and distinct uh, sources. Okay, they can be uh, conjunctively combined with the conjunctive rule of combination, which is defined uh, by this equation. You, what you do is you uh, transfer the product of the masses, okay, to the intersection of the masses. The, the idea uh, behind uh, this rule is the, the, the following. Uh, let, let's consider a, a, a first uh, expert uh, saying, okay, saying that the truth, so it is expert one saying that the truth uh, is, okay, in this um, uh, set, with a mass, okay, uh, Nb, a mass Nb uh, belonging to uh, uh, zero uh, one. Okay, and now you have uh, a, se a second uh, expert uh, saying that the truth is in another uh, set uh, C with a mass uh, Mc. Uh, uh, belonging to uh, zero uh, one, then uh, in fact the rule, the rule, okay, uh, consider that okay. So if the expert one says the truth is in B, and the second one says the truth is in C, and the two uh, experts are reliable, meaning that you you can fully um, uh, um, uh, use the, the information and this information is distinct, meaning that they, uh, uh, it is not a redundant, then, uh, okay, you can conclude that the truth is in B intersected with C with a mass equal uh, to the uh, product M of B times uh, M of C, okay? So the truth should be here. So that is the, 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 the the background of this rule. So here it is a, 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 an intuitive, uh, a, an intuitive, uh, 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 the intuitive uh, ID. But in fact, this rule can be uh, axiomatically uh, defined. Uh, and uh, now uh, another. Uh, another um, uh, rule, uh, which where in fact you consider that the source are distinct, but only one. Only one of the source is uh, reliable, and we don't know which one. Okay, is reliable. So if we take back uh, the example with you have an information on NB. Uh, you have the other 
experts saying that the truth is in C, and you do not know uh, where uh, we don't know if B is, 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 is expert one is right or expert C is right. So you can be uh, very, very cautious and consider that the truth, okay, the truth, instead of uh, saying the truth is in B intersected with C, you consider that the truth, okay, is, is, is in B union C, okay? Uh, so it is uh, much more uh, uh, conservative. Uh, and uh, so let's okay. So let's uh, let's take a, an example. Uh, we consider uh, two mass functions m1 and uh, m2, and we want uh, to compute how how can we make uh, how can we summarize uh, this uh, information. Uh, so. Um, here, you, you, the mass, here the, for the conjunctive combination, uh, how can you have A uh, uh, from the focal set of M1 and M2? So as you can see, the mass of, on A is equal here to 0.3. So if I make A uh, intersected with AB, here you have a mass on AB, here a mass on A. So a B intersected with uh, with uh, A is equal here. So here you have at a mass equal to uh, uh, if I, so here you have a mass of 0 0.3, 0 0.3 in A, 0.5 in A B. So if I make the product here, A B intersected with A uh, A sorry intersected with A B is A. So we have a mass here equal to uh, point, uh, 0.15 at least. Here, point 0.3 intersected with point 0.1. Uh, uh, so A with AC, we have here a mass also equal to uh, 0, so 0 0.03, this time this. And uh, here, ABC. Okay, intersected with A is also A, so we have three times uh, point uh, uh, four, so it's point uh, twelve. B intersected, uh, and that's all. Okay, so the masses on A is going to be point fifteen plus point three, so it's point three. Here you are, we are going to retrieve point three. So that is just a, an example for um, for to, to compute uh, this one. So if we compute all the other, we have this uh, result. So we choose point three. Uh, here we obtain a mass on the empty set, which confirms the intersection of two sets. Which are uh, which are which uh, uh, have no elements in com in uh, in, uh, uh, in common, uh, and it is uh, yes, it confirms this this multiplication B intersected with AC is equal to the empty set. So that's why we have a mass of 0.04 uh, in um, uh, here. So here it is called the, the degree of conflict. If you have a too high degree of conflict, it means that you have a problem in your modelization. So it can be seen as, as a role of uh, alarm. Uh, um, another, another way uh, to use to it is to, uh, is to normalize the mass function uh, by uh, dividing all these masses by one minus uh, one over one minus this, and it is called the dumpster's rule of combination. Uh, and now, if we if we don't if we know that one of the source is not uh, is not certain, we can combine them more carefully. Uh, and uh, here, so we, we will have so for example for this two focal set, 
point three times point uh, five. So point fifteen is going to uh, to be transferred to uh, AB. A union AB is going to be AB. So we, we have here point fifteen, and then here is the result. So here you can see that you can have a, 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 a more general mass function, meaning a mass with higher level of masses in uh, the universe, combining disjunctively, and uh, 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 more um, uh, implicated uh, mass with the conjunctive combination here. Uh, so uh, that's why, in fact, uh, the, 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 the fact to be more cautious uh, at the moment, if you, if you put all the masses on omega, you will not be able to conclude in, the, in, in your modelization. Uh, th th that's why it's, in, it's important, in fact, to, to try to have some committed mass function to, to succeed to have a, uh, to have a, 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 a conclusion which is not uh, trivial uh, in your modelization of, of problem. So now that we have models information with mass function or belief function or uh, plausibility function, uh, we can we can look how how to make uh, how to make a decision with uh, with this belief function. To, so to make decision, we can, we, in fact, we have two, two, two strategies. Uh, either, either you want to make a hard decision, okay? Meaning that you want one, you, you accept only one uh, class, one, um, one element of omega. In the horse race, you are just, um, you, you just say uh, this one, is a more uh, has the more chance to, to win the, the race. So it exists many uh, uh, many decision uh, rules, uh, and one uh, classical rule uh, for this um, uh, for this uh, to, to have a hard decision is to choose the decision D, uh, which uh, maximizes a probability transform of M. And for example, we can use the, what we call the pinnitic transform, meaning at the moment when you would like to make a decision, then in fact here you go back to the traditional uh, probability theory. In fact, so it, it is one way. One way is to go back to a classical uh, probability theory by transforming the mass function into a probability measure with this uh, formula, in fact. It means that uh, the mass on the subset is equally reported uh, to the focal element. So let, let's take an example. For example, uh, if you have omega composed of three elements, A, B, C, with the mass, a mass on, uh, on A equal to 0.3, a mass on B equal to 0.4, uh, and a mass on omega equal to 0.3, here are the possible um, decisions. The decisions here are a subset of, of, of omega. It is more simple, but you can have also, a, you can go to the classical uh, decision theory and have a set of acts, which is different of the sec, uh, of the, the of, of, of omega. But uh, I'm going to take here a, a very simple example. Uh, so the mass on, of uh, the probability of A is equal to the mass of A, okay, uh, plus uh, if you if you had a, a mass on AB, you, you will have the mass of AB divided by two, but here we have not, but we have a mass on uh, ABC. So a mass on ABC is equal to 0 0.3, so it's going to be 0 0.3 divided by the cardinality here of um, uh, omega, which is three. Uh, and you, we, we do not have a mass on the empty set, so this uh, is equal to one. And, and then, in fact, 
uh, here, what we have uh, is that the mass on omega is equally reported on uh, the three uh, singletons. And finally, the, the, our probability on A is equal to 0.4, probability on B is equal to 0.5, and probability on C is equal to 2.1, okay? So that's a way uh, to make uh, decisions. Uh, you can also make a, a partial decision. So it is another uh, consideration. And uh, because when you have chosen to model the information using BD function, you have, cho you have chosen to be uh, more careful, more careful for representing um, exactly uh, imprecision and uh, uncertainty. And then instead of, of uh, uh, choosing one uh, uh, decision, you can, um, you can output a, a decision, a partial decision composed of elements of omega. Okay, so instead of deciding here, only uh, A, you can say, okay, maybe it's A or B. You are allowed to say A or B. So a way, a way to uh, output uh, several uh, decisions, so sorry, several elements of omega, is to do it according to a preference relation. And then you, uh, how you make a personal decision Okay, composed of the elements that are not dominated, not dominated according to a preference relation. Again, in the literature, you, you, you are, I'm going to give some, um, uh, some references. You can find different uh, preference relation. And here are some common. So the first is the relation of strong dominance meaning that uh, an element is strongly uh, is uh, omega strong is strong uh, to dominate an omega prime if your belief on omega is greater than the plausibility on omega prime okay because in fact you you remember that the plausibility of an element for is, is always uh, greater than uh, um, the belief. So here, omega strongly dominate omega prime if the belief on omega is strictly greater than the plausibility on omega prime. And we have another, so a, a weak version of this, which is omega dominates uh, weakly omega prime if on, and only if uh, belief on omega is strictly greater than the belief on omega prime, and the plausibility on omega is greater than the plausibility on omega prime. Okay, we, we, it is a, a softer uh, uh, version. We do not have any, we do not ask for, uh, for this. Okay, so the strong dominance, the belief is, is, is strictly greater than the plausibility, and uh, the weak dominance, belief. Uh, arbiter and plausibility arbiter. So let's take uh, uh, again the, an example with the, the following uh, mass uh, function. So first thing we compute the, the belief. So m of a is equal to 0 0.3, m of b is equal to 0 0.4. So uh, the belief on this element are this. And the uh, the belief on C is equal to zero, uh, M of C is equal to, to zero. And um, okay, and now the plausibility, uh, the sum of the masses which do not contradict A, uh, we have M of A and F of omega, so it is 0.6 uh, for B, M of B plus M of omega, it is 0.7, and for C, M of C plus F of omega, uh, so we have the belief and the plausibility. And now, concerning the relation of strong dominance, we, we, we have the, that the belief on B 
is not greater than the plausibility on, uh, on A. And the belief on C uh, is not greater than the plausibility of A. So what we, we, what we can say is that A is not dominated. A is not dominated by C and A is not dominated by B according to the strong dominance relation. Um, for B, is B dominated? Uh, Bell of A is not greater than possibility of B. Okay, so B is not dominated uh, by A. And again, uh, B is not dominated by C. Okay, so in fact, B is not dominated. There are no elements dominated B. Uh, now let's look at C, and we have here an equality. Belief of A is, is equal to possibility of C. So A uh, uh, dominates C. Then C is not dominated. So here, if we consider this preference relation to make a partial decision, this partial decision is going to be composed of two elements, uh, A and B. Okay. A are not dominated and B not, not dominated. If you are allowed to, to put more than one element uh, for, for, for the decision. And uh, for the relation of weak dominance, uh, here we compute um, if A is dominated, uh, bell of B is greater than bell of A, and plausibility of B is greater than possibility of A. Okay, so A is dominated. Okay, B dominates A. And uh, here, um, bell of B is greater than bell of C, and plausibility of B is greater than plausibility of C. Okay, so B dominates uh, also C. So A and C here are dominated, so only B is not dominate. So for the weak, if your preference relation is the weak dominant, you have uh, a decision uh, in favor of B. Okay, so that, that's two, two, um, two way uh, of making the decision. Either according to a preference relation and you have partial decision, okay? And uh, you can make a hard decision, okay? With a conversion to a probability, which is one, okay? Um, so I don't know if you have any questions. No? Any question uh, from participant? Don't hesitate. Not yet. Okay. It's quite confusing for me. It's quite confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it is. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, Professor David, uh, some people here may know about uh, uh, fuzzy logic or fuzzy set, maybe uh, they want to know what is the difference between fuzzy set and belief function. Ah, okay. The, okay. Thank you for the question. Uh, in fact, it is uh, here. Uh, a, a fuzzy measure, uh, in fact, is a, is a possibility measure. So we will have this. Um, in fact, th th there are two, 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 two different, in fact, you, you can you can retrieve here. Uh, okay, so classically, you, so you have a, a, um, a fuzzy measure mu, in fact, which, which is uh, associated with a, a plausibility measure, and you retrieve the plausibilities here. But there is also uh, something, uh, but very uh, important. Uh, there is a, a, a difference in the, in the way. Uh, of the information which is a uh, model. If I if I go back to the beginning, here I talk about uncertainty and imprecision. Mm -hmm. And originally, in the works of uh, Zadeh with the uh, fizzy measure, uh, here we 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 talk about what we called um, a, a vagueness. Or ambiguity, uh, uh, well, not a good vagueness, but classically, uh, when you have um, uh, a, a fuzzy measure, is that the truth here? Here, the truth is one element. Okay, 
in this in the in uncertainty precision in our model the truth is one element you have a, a finite set of of uh, hypotheses and you are looking for a pointwise uh, truth okay the pointwise truth and but general in uh, in fuzzy measure in fact the truth is not is not really known the truth is is, is vague for example if you consider um, uh, I don't know the fact to be big or small. Okay, here I am small and here I am uh, tall, tall, tall. Okay, you know, in fact, the, 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 so here it is a, 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 a fuzzy measure. Sorry, here you, you can see that um, there is not a pointwise truth. In fact, I, when I am so when I am here, uh, for example, here. It is the, your your the size, okay? Your your size. Or um, uh, if you have, I don't know. Uh, if you if if you are one uh, uh, point seven uh, meter, are you small or tall? You know, that there is a a, a non clear transition between two truths, okay? Yeah, when you use a uh, Fuzzy, in fact, yes, it is vagueness or fuzziness. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is not exactly the, the same model because you are not, in, it is not the same way to represent the information. You, you are, here the truth is, in, is, uh, is not a, a point, is, is not a, a strict element. The truth is, is between uh, something. You, there is um, a difference. A difference here about the modelization, but if you look after mathematically, mathematically uh, it is a possibility uh, uh, measure uh, with uh, uh, you can reduce this with a, a nested uh, focal set. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, do you have an idea how to make a decision if we use by this set? Can we implement? Uh, for example, strong dominant or weak dominant criterion? I do not know uh, enough, uh, in fact, uh, this, uh, I do not know enough this model to, to in fact, uh, sh 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 yes, in, in fact, yes, in fact, it, um, in the, when you have, when you, are in a plausibility and measure. In fact, the, the belief function is associated to the necessity function. So, so you replace Bell by N. Mm. Necessity function and the possibility function is the same. The, is the possibility function in the uh, possibility function. And here you have the necessity function. So yes, I guess you can retrieve this uh, this kind of thing by replacing Bell by the necessity function and and possibility by the possibility function. But I, I'm not I'm not a, 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 an expert on on the on fuzzy on fuzzy set. Yeah. Okay. I I in fact the the what what I'm what I have in mind is a. a is a, a, a reference a reference book. Um, uh, if I, for, for example, here I'm, uh, I mean, th there is a book called Possibility Theory. Um, um, I'm, I'm writing it uh, in the in the chat so everybody. Let's see. My, my, yes. I'm, I'm going to, ah, okay, thank you. Because if I wait up, um, because yes, so to conclude, uh, I can say that, okay, it's a flexible mathematical. Uh, in fact, it's a mix between probability theory and fine. It encompasses probability theory and set membership. And uh, we can see this at weighted opinion. And um, uh, in fact, yes, I, I wanted to, to show uh, it because uh, in fact, on, in the net, you are going to find um, many uh, 
many resources uh, on this uh, uh, model and uh, it's here yes so in fact if you if you take the be fast society and to the be function uh, society in fact if you go to the school here uh, you you will find uh, uh, other lectures other exercise other solutions okay um, to, 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 to make if you would like to to, to find more okay you have a, a group of, of lecture um, and also importantly, uh, uh, so I, I said um, that uh, the theory, no, uh, sorry, not this one. Yes, so um, the theory, in fact, start from uh, Schaeffer's book, so uh, a mathematical theory of uh, evidence. Uh, And I should have it here. Yes. So here is, in fact, uh, so this is the the starting root of the theory, the mathematical theory of evidence from Ben Schaeffer. Okay. So it's, a, it's a quite old, but uh, always uh, interesting. In fact, you you have the, the basics of the, of this theory, uh, uh, and it is very. Um, um, very abordable. Okay, uh, so it is a, 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 a good way, and so it, it, the theory uh, starts um, yes. So this and uh, now, in fact, one of the um, major uh, contributors to the theory is uh, Thierry Benoit. Okay, it's a um, it's a professor uh, also in France, and here on his uh, web page, uh, you you will find um, many many talks on different uh, aspects that I'm not going to to to, to, to present uh, here. Uh, So here, yeah. okay. So so it is the president of the belief function society, and if you go to on this page and talks, so there are some talks in French, but uh, here you see you will have. Um, many uh, specialized talks uh, on different aspects. So here you see um, about the, the fitness. Uh, in fact, he, 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 present, uh, he presented the conference on random TV set. Mm. So here I, uh, you see that there is also, um, so it, it is a more general model. Uh, with including a, a fuzzy a fuzzy part so maybe it's going to to also um, add to answer the, the question you, you asked me i think this is going to be uh, uh, so so you see um, here this is the link. in fact in all this model uh, uh, dealing with uh, uncertainty have some link, so we um, we can see Dempster Schaeffer 
uh, it's very linked to, to random sets. Uh, okay. Um, here I have presented the belief function as a weighted set. Okay. You have a, it, is, it is, in fact, it is a Smets view, um, which is a, another uh, uh, structure. It's a, it's a Belgian um, researcher. And uh, when one of his, uh, an, an interesting uh, um, uh, article, uh, about belief function, and in particular, if you would like to to implement to implement uh, uh, belief functions, uh, it is an interesting article, and I think I have this. Yes, yes. So here, so this person is a uh, uh, Philip Pet, another uh, important contributor of the belief uh, function. Uh, he he. Uh, uh, so he, so he, he chose uh, not to speak about probability. Okay, make the, the presentation of a, uh, very simply. Uh, you have a set, okay, and you have a degree of a belief of a mass function. For example, I know with the degree 0.7 that the truth is in A. Okay, so that's the view, in fact, of this method. Now. Uh, in fact, there is a, a more probabilistic view, which, which instead of saying this, you can say uh, this. Okay. In fact, you have um, a, a probability space. Okay. Here, you go from a, a probability with space with, a, for example, and here you have a probability on this element, and you you transfer this. To uh, omega. Here you have the mass of A. So just uh, just a simple example. And here, so I am going to name this space uh, 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 theta. Okay. So here theta. Here you have a probability measure on this space, and you transfer this with a multi-valued mapping gamma. And for example. I know I'm here with a 0.7 probability, and it is transferred to R with this probability. And this, for example, is transferred. Okay. So if you have here just, for example, two, two elements, one with a probability 7 and one with a probability 3. And if you are here, it means that for omega, for omega the truth is in A. Okay. And uh, if you are here, you know that in omega the truth uh, is in omega, which which yield in fact to a mass function m omega equal 0.3 and the uh, m of a equal uh, 0.7. Okay, so that's another way to represent a mass function. Okay, as a um, uh, a tuple. Okay, with a, a tuple, we confirm with a, um, a universe omega, a multi-valued mapping gamma, and a, a, a probability space here. So that's the way, and this way, uh, if you go, if you go, if you want to learn about st uh, statistical inference, in fact, uh, you will have uh, this kind of, uh, of, of representation and uh, this is going to be a uh, uh, random uh, uh, set. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a another view. Uh, okay, and uh, this, if I'm not mistaken, yes, and this is this is you you are going to reach this. So this is what. I have presented, uh, which generalize uh, uh, so the possibility theory and the probability theory. And here you have so the possibility theory and the PZ set. And so uh, re recently, uh, Thierry Deneus proposed this model, including this form. So for all of you who are working on, on PZ uh, uh, theory, uh, I think this uh, presentation. Uh, can uh, interest uh, you? Okay, it, it is it is a, a recent one. Um, so uh, 
I'm going to put the link on the yes here you have the, the, the link for the presentation and more more generally uh in fact i, I advise you uh you can look at this uh, at this talk okay and you will find uh, more so so you you will find a, a deeper um information Uh, and the, what say what did I, so okay and the last thing I wanted to say is about the way well, yes the, the the decision making uh, there is um, a, a, an article uh, of Thierry uh, so the good thing is that Thierry put all his talk on his web page and you have also all his uh, article and the one about um, uh, decision making yes it is this one so it's it, what i mentioned is just an introduction here you will find all about uh, making decision with daily content Okay, thank you. Uh, any question from participant? From students or uh, from teachers, maybe? Mm, I think I have yes. one question. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, can you tell us your name? Okay, uh, my name is Manda Dibusuma. I'm one of lecture in Winsuan Galijaga. Actually, uh, I'm still uh, still not understand yet what the this is uh, this belief uh, about belief function because I haven't learned anything about it yet. But uh, the one thing I need uh, I want to ask is um, if we want to make uh, research or uh, maybe undergraduate thesis uh, using this theory so uh, is it possible just using this uh, one one theory or uh, we should combine it with another theory like uh, previous paper before and maybe uh, is it possible for this formula to uh, uh, making an app based on this formula. Uh, maybe I don't know, like uh, machine learning app or something like that. Sorry, machine learning? Well, like, um, is it possible to make an, an app uh, like application? Oh, an uh, application. Computer, computer application using this uh, uh, based on this formula. Based on this formula. So the uh, can automat automatically key, uh, can automatically compute or uh, something like that okay okay is it clear for you david uh yes i uh, i understand that about the uh, application and the, the fact that this theory is applicable uh, concretely on okay. uh, on some application and uh, yes in fact that uh, um, you you will find um uh, uh maybe i can i can show you in fact uh uh, with uh, in we, we plan to to to, uh, to propose an air an R package to yeah. make these things easier to to compute and uh, but it is not ready yet but uh, I hope uh, very soon uh, so um, if I but maybe maybe it's going to be a bit longer but uh, uh, but I maybe sorry. Uh, Okay, um, so uh, we already have implemented uh, some elements. So uh, yes, okay, I'm going to try to do it very fast. Up, up, up. Um,
So here, in fact, it is a R. I, I, I don't know if some of you are using it. Um, in fact, uh, yes, great. So um, here, in fact, if you if we go to uh, so, but no, it has not to If you go back to the web page of uh, Thierry of Thierry Deneu, you will find also uh, on this web page a, a part about a, a software. So. Um, a long, a long time. In fact, all the, the classical things about uh, uh, computing the disjunctive combinations, it, it, in fact, the, uh, it was done a long time ago by, by Felix Smith in MATLAB. And, um, and uh, uh, you will find also, so yes, the link is here. Uh, and uh, you will find also, uh, for example, classifier uh, using um, uh, uh, using uh, belief functions uh, based on distance or on a regression or um, or on the ATM algorithm, uh, and you have also so so these are most in MATLAB, and here you will find some uh, uh, classifier uh, with R. Okay, um, so th this we will find only the classifier, and with the uh, in. Uh, we wanted, in fact, to to use an R, add an R package to compute all these basic things. So here, just for for example, uh, if you if I go back to uh, what I've, I've, um, I've done, so it was uh, we represent a mass function as a vector. So the mass on the empty set is equal to zero. Uh, what, what I have done was a mass function, for example, so a point three. Uh, B point four zero for uh, so we, we always uh, I always use this kind of way to represent um, to index the the element. Uh, it is very convenient. It, it comes from the article from from Philip Smith. I have uh, So yes, it comes from the first, the starting comes from this article, uh, and we you see this uh, this ID. You see you you the position of the element depends on this uh, binary order. Uh, so here I make a so it has zero zero uh, a b. Uh, zero AC zero and uh, three for omega. Okay, and now if you want to have uh, the plausibility function from N, uh, you, you just use this and you can have this information. Uh, you can Transfer it to, to Bell. We, we have this um, fact, facile. In fact, uh, in fact uh, me also, uh, uh, before, before working in a university, uh, I was working in a firm uh, in the postal address uh, recognition, in fact. And uh, I, I succeed to implement, in fact, all these uh, tools uh, in, uh, in C, in the, in the language uh, C. And uh, in fact, it uh, it works. Uh, one uh, one important thing, uh, but I, I'm going to, make, to 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 show it uh, in my second uh, presentation. Is that in fact you one weak point one weak point of this is that you consider uh, with this matrix representation you consider uh, all the elements of the power set of omega. Uh, and so, in fact, you can have a big matrices with many zeros. So sometimes, and it is what it is what I have done. I, I you you have some tricks, in fact, to 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 um, to, to, to avoid some uh, complication. For example, 
here, here with a, the point, it is, in this very simple uh, example, here you see we have uh, many zeros uh, in the vector, but we can succeed to have another representation of the mass function by not uh, um, putting the mass uh, equal to zero. It, it was I have done in fact in my PhD. In fact, uh, I only consider focal elements. It is another implementation. Okay, I just consider focal elements and not and not all these uh, all these uh, elements here. Because otherwise, it, it, uh, I have I had uh, too complex uh, uh, too, too much complexity. Uh, okay, so so in fact, concretely, if you are interested uh, in uh, using uh, uh, the code uh, for the moment, you you have the code, but it is it is in MATLAB, and here you have some uh, uh, classifier, uh, clustering algorithm, etc. Uh, in, in R, but we, we are going to put uh, online an R package with uh, in, uh, and you will retrieve all this uh, mass, all this uh, all this element to, to compute. It is our it is one of our goal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is it clear? So, jadi uh, kita uh, bisa menggunakan MATLAB, R, atau bisa C. Seperti itu ya untuk mengimplementasikan uh, atau untuk menghitung, mengcompute uh, fungsi-fungsi yang ada di sini. Terus tadi ada pertanyaan juga, uh, is, it, is it possible to combine this theory with another theory? Um, maybe, can you specify uh, what kind of theory do you want to combine? Uh, uh, I don't know because uh, uh, uh maybe for maybe uh, like when some student want to write uh, undergraduate thesis his and uh, well by using this uh, belief function theory where do he or her so start so start. Uh, if the students want to use this theory for uh, uh, for his uh, research or his, or for his uh, undergrad undergraduate uh, thesis for, for students maybe uh, I, I can give what, a, what things uh, what uh, things to be understood maybe <laughs> what uh, 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 because uh, uh, I I also still not uh, understand. Uh, st still trying to still try to grasp this uh, this belief, belief function. Uh, but if if I'm an undergraduate student and I want to uh, I want to yes. doing a research uh, to write my thesis to, or to write my undergraduate undergraduate thesis. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where should I start? Where should I start? Uh, okay. And... So, um, uh, um, thank you for the, 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 the question. Um, uh, I'm going to yes yeah, to, to, to to try to make a, a, a clear answer. Uh, so so first, um, in fact, if you if you want to know, uh, for example, uh, the, the basic start is that you 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 want to know truth belonging to a universe. Uh, for example, I, I want an algorithm uh, able to recognize uh, 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 or, uh, I don't know, something. Uh, me, I want to know the address on the, on the postal letter. Uh, I want to, to know the weather uh, tomorrow, etc. In fact, a classic way to, to use, a classic way to use belief function is, is when you have a different expert or classifier giving you information. So it is the way, for example, I, I am looking for a truth in Omega and I have three classifiers. It can be anything, you can use other theories. Okay, you can have different classifiers giving you an output, uh, O1, O2, uh, O3, and, uh, and you, you decide in fact to represent what uh, they said you, 
with a, a mass function from omega and you you combine them okay uh, it is what, what um, um, i can in fact uh, in my in my lab i am work with some uh, 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 people working on on um, uh, uh, electric uh, machine in fact uh, it is people from the from the this and What? Where is the oh, is there? Okay, never mind. So I'm I'm going to to show you I think I have a picture here. Yes. So the, in fact, I'm working with people working on electrical uh, machine. Uh, you see, and they want to know um, if if there are a, a problem. In fact, on uh, on, on the core of the machine, and they use sensors, okay, and uh, they set up gives give them some some information. So what we have done uh, uh, here is that uh, each sensor, each sensor, uh, we, we build a mass function from uh, each sensor. So uh, if if uh, now if one student wants to know more uh, about the belief function, where to start? Where to exactly start to, to learn? So uh, you, you you have uh, so if you if you want to start, in fact, you can uh, go uh, exactly uh, here. So here, in fact, it is uh, the, the the starting point of a, of a lecture of a Thierry Deneu, more complete than the one uh, I presented. Uh, about uh, uh, introduction to belief function, how to build belief function, how to make classification and clustering. So uh, I would um, I would uh, uh, suggest to, to start mm -hmm. and it is. And if, so, for example, in fact, you, you will have a, um, some sigma and d, but it is so you, you will find some some elements. So, for example, if I if I take the so it is the first course uh, for the the belief function uh, where uh, so it was in schema, and here so you see you have the belief I have presented, and it presents also other uh, elements information frame. Etc. Donc, you see, he, he, he shows where the theory, the theory stands. So, he presents what I have presented and other elements. Uh, uh, take another example. Uh, you, you see here, you, you have a road scene analysis, uh, and you want to model uh, what is in, in front of the car. Okay. And uh, you have uh, some uh, grass or road or tree or tree, sorry, uh, obstacle or sky, and you have a lidar sensor returning information. And what, what you do, so it's very classic, uh, you, you decide how to build a mass function from the output of a sensor. Okay. And it can be a bit, uh, uh, it can be given by an expert. It is not something, um, it is dependent of the application. Uh, it is something co co very common. 
uh, here there is no. In fact, it's it's a practice. It's a I, I say, it's a practical. It's very practical. For example, uh, it, for us, when we look at the default, we have uh, a, a sensor. Uh, You know, for example, you, you have a, um, a, a sensor me measuring a value, and uh, uh, you can say uh, here, here you have the value, for example, that there is a default, and, and you can decide that the mass on the default is going to evolve uh, la la like this according to a certain measure of the sensor. Uh, sensor measure. For example, if the measure is here, then you are going to have a, a mass on V equal to something like this, etc. Okay. To, to, to build the mass function, uh, you can have either a, a, a kind of expert view and you use a, a back, okay, according, or or you have you are more um, a theoretical method to, to do to do this. Okay. Uh, when, when it's important, it's very important also to consider that when you build a model, it is very important to know on which frame, on which frame you represent the information. For example, if I if I choose a, a, a simple a, a universe, there is a default. Uh, there is no default uh, in my um, uh, uh, machine. Uh, this, this, but you can also. Uh, defined a uh, finer frame. The, uh, th this is something I, I have not presented, but um, the the fact to be compatible is very important. In fact, it's, it's compatible. Sorry, compatible uh, frame of this discernment. Uh, A compatible frame of, of discernment, it, it means uh, that you, for example, this omega, there is a default, there is no default. It can be compatible with a more uh, a finer frame of discernment. Uh, let's call it uh, uh, theta. Uh, in fact, default, you, you, you can divide it. For example, is there is a default of, of type 1 and there is a default of type 2. And the fact that there is no default, you can divide it uh, into uh, uh, all is good, all is good. Uh, you, you have maybe the temperature is a bit high, but you do not consider it as a default. Uh, the, the temperature is a bit higher too. So, uh, and uh, another one, I don't know, uh, either. And you see, uh, these frames are compatible. Uh, if you can say that, in fact, these elements are refinement of this element D, okay, and uh, uh, this element here are a particular case of, uh, of, of, of this, okay? And wh what is interesting with belief function is that you can, tra you can transfer easily a, a mass function on this to this, and a mass function on this to this, it is possible to uh, to, 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 move, to transfer. Uh, uh, so, voilà. uh, so, and in this example, in fact, uh, if I look, uh, I think it is the case. For example, here you have a frame of discernment where you have uh, five classes. Uh, there is a grass, so in green here, in green here, sorry. Uh, there is, in red, is a rose. Okay, so it's not the color that's right here. So uh, red, um, so grass, uh, road is in green here, so oh, red, okay, sorry. So grass, road, a tree, obstacle, sky. Uh, so I assume that the leader sensor returns the information that the, so the true value we are, we are so the variable of interest X uh, belongs to, TO. So in front of you, you have uh, either an obstacle or a tree. 
And there is a probability O.1 that the information is not reliable. Okay, the sensor is out of touch. How to represent this information by a mass function? And Thierry uh, Deneu, in fact, uses the representation uh, with the probability impact. You have a probability space and the, the universe. Okay, so in the universe, you retrieve the four, the five, sorry, possible things, uh, either grass, road, uh, tree, obstacle, or sky. Uh, you have your sensor saying that what you have in front of you is a, a, a tree or an obstacle. And here, so here you see you have, we have a mass on TO, which is equal to 0 0.9. And otherwise, we have a mass on omega equal to 0.9. Uh, okay, you, you see it, and it is another uh, representation of the mass function. Okay, and uh, uh, so if you, if you want, in fact, uh, um, the best, the very best way would be to participate to one of the belief um, uh, society uh, uh, school. In fact. Um, so here the, the last school. Um, okay. So here, so here, in fact, you can. Okay, you, you can download the lectures. Okay, and uh, in this lecture, uh, you will retrieve. Uh, but okay, let's do it. What do we have in this lecture? Uh, lecture. Um, so, uh, okay, sorry, I'm going to put it here. So here, here it is. So um, if you download these lectures, you you will find you will find the uh, one, two, three, four, five are all the lectures given uh, at this uh, uh, school. So this school was uh, in in uh, Italy. Uh, uh, did you attend uh, in the school? Uh, I, yes. Yeah, yes. So, so your, your microphone is, is off. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so it was, uh, so it's doing this a week. And uh, uh, where is the, the program? Okay, and you see, you see the program was here. Oh, but it was maybe okay. Here. Yeah. So, it was one week of um, of, uh, of of lectures. Up. 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 And uh, if if we look at the lectures, you you will fact in fact the 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 three lectures given by by Thierry and which are on is uh, what page, uh, which is here. We will retrieve this uh, this talk. And uh, as well as um, as a lecture, uh, belief function and, and logic, uh, graphical model with belief function, uh, multi triad multi triad decision making with belief function, um, uh, information correction. So uh, it is what I'm going to, to talk about uh, after. Uh, so Thierry Debois is. Um, uh, also, information on information fusion, uh, positioning belief function among uh, other uncertainty measure. So you will see the link with uh, here um, possibility theory to the interval. Okay, so we talk with from uh, Didier Dubois, uh, and you will find also a talk from David Cucci about uh, belief function and work set theory. So. Yes, it's, it's uh, um, you will find, and uh, you will find also here a talk 
uh, by Arnaud Matin about the function and implementation. Uh, and it will uh, give you, it will talk about a SMETS uh, code. Uh, SMETS code is, uh, in fact, you, you will find it on the web test software. And here you have a kit box. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, you have a kit box, but it is in, in MATLAB. And um, in fact, with him, with we will. Uh, uh, put it uh, in R very, very fastly, in fact, uh, because uh, it, is, it is convenient and it is, it is one point uh, on which we have to be, we, we can improve is to make um, uh, material uh, 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 um, available for everyone. So here on the, on the web page of the association, you will find also uh, some software uh, a link to the software, and you, you also have some some packets, but uh, they are not uh, complete. In fact, uh, the packet from, from uh, Sebastian is not, uh, and we have also a, 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 a packet here, but it it is not the the same way as um, as a, as a SMET. It is another. Yes, it, it is not uh, exactly what uh, you have a solution here, but we we like to provide another solution. We we hope um, more uh, more in line with uh, with the, the, the TBM and uh, and with uh, uh, how can I say uh, it more effective effective uh, algorithm uh, also, also there there is a hot topic also at the moment there is a hot topic uh, about uh, uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, etc uh, you there, there, is, uh, there is if if you would like to see um, something about uh, the link uh, with uh, deep neural networks and uh, and uh, delete function, uh, you can have a presentation. Um, I think it is this one. Yes, deep evidential uh, neural network. So. You, you, if you are interested in, in this, you, you will see that, uh, in fact, one way to use one way to use a uh, belief function is, uh, you know, at the end of a process, you want to combine several uh, things, and you can see that it is also possible to to add, in fact, a, a denser shaper at the end of uh, a neural network algorithm. To, to, to improve uh, its, uh, its, uh, its performances. And also what is interesting is to have, what I have presented, a partial decision. Okay, partial decision. Uh, it, it, it is, uh, uh, because in fact, one, uh, one, uh, one important characteristic of the belief function theory is to model uh, imprecision. And uh, if, if at the end you convert it to a probability, you, you will not gain, you will not gain a lot uh, uh, um, uh, each time. In fact, it could be interesting sometime to consider partial decision uh, and not uh, in order to be uh, uh, informed about uh, the fact that the truth is uh, is not one element. Right? There are many possibilities to have a second change, uh, second element. So, so, it, so, so to 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 sum up, um, 
if you for here to, to, to start uh, learning delete function I, I, I would uh, start with uh, in fact you go to uh, up, up. you can go to the website of the school um, Here, yeah. so uh, I, I give you up. you you can go to the website. Uh, well, uh, it's not software. It's, uh, yes, this one, and you can go to the school and here and here you can download the the, the, the lecture uh, and the first lecture to see i think it is uh, this one so those from uh, uh, theory and uh, uh, and you can look after at, at this uh, at this sort here to apply it. But uh, uh, I think uh, as soon as we, I think uh, in, we, we can try to, to put, uh, you know, an air package of the uh, delete function and yes, put yes. In fact, uh, uh, a PDF just mm -hmm. with example, very soft and, and nice example of how to use uh, base, just basic things, in fact. Yeah, it's going to be just a, an introduction for vraiment new new users. I think it, it effectively it's going to be, but because also uh, and also if you want to know, the, um, there, there is a book of Schaeffer, but it, there are interesting things, but uh, maybe some are, are a bit old now. But it is very easy to read, and you have uh, uh, the fundamentals and without probability. <laughs> Uh, Oke, okay. I, uh, I will try to translate. Uh, jadi sebenarnya uh, kalau untuk me, apa namanya, membuat aplikasi uh, berbasis AI dengan menggunakan teori ini, sebenarnya kami sudah membuat uh, sebuah library menggunakan R, tapi belum rilis. Insya Allah tahun ini kami akan rilis library-nya, jadi semua orang bisa uh, menggunakan uh, library tersebut untuk membangun aplikasi uh, dengan menggunakan teori belief function gitu. So, uh, oke, okay, thank you uh, Profesor David Mercier for uh, your first part of your presentation. So, jadi teori ini biasanya digunakan untuk memecahkan masalah uh, uncertainty dan imprecision atau ketidak uh, apa pres, persis, <laughs> tidak persis, tidak kepastian dalam aplikasi AI atau artificial intelligence seperti classification, clustering, image processing, computer vision atau bahkan dipakai dalam machine learning dan information fusion. Jadi sangat sangat luas penggunaannya jika ingin menggunakan teori ini untuk mengembangkan ide-ide penelitian, ide-ide pen, metode penelitian yang bisa diimplementasikan dan juga untuk mendevelop aplikasi aplikasi berbasis AI tentunya. Oke, okay, um, any other question from participants? Hello, from students maybe? No? Oke, okay, uh, we have remaining time about one hour, one hour, more than one hour. Uh, so uh, maybe you can continue uh, your speak in the second part. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, yes, okay. So, so, um, so now I'm going to, to go in the, um, In a, in a domain where uh, I work, 
uh, with the in also, um, which uh, deal to uh, corrections. Um, so, so um, is, we are going to go deeper in the theory. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to try to be uh, as clear as, uh, as possible. So, um, what's the problem? Uh, so here, in fact, we, 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 I am in the case where uh, we have a piece of information. So you, you have a problem and to solve your problem, you, 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 you have a sensor. For example, uh, you want to know what is in front of the car. You have a LIDAR sensor uh, telling you that there is an obstacle, there is a car in front of the car, etc. But for a piece of information to be useful, is that it has to be interpreted with respect to the quality of the source. If, the source, if, if a source uh, tells uh, uh, something not interesting, it will be uh, unusable. So it is not an easy task. As, uh, for example, problem one, the quality of a source may, may come in many cases. For example, it can be uh, reliable, unreliable, biased, uh, untrustful, um, and the quality of the source may only be known with some uncertainty also. It can be partially reliable, partially biased, partially untrustful, so difficult. Uh, so, sorry. So, okay. so, uh, you, so let's take an example. Uh, you want to know, for example, the temperature, the temperature T uh, of um, uh, the temperature. Uh, and so you, you take a thermometer uh, T, which gives you a temperature of uh, 55 degrees. If the, if the temperature, if the, the thermometer is reliable, okay, we can conclude that the temperature is effectively of 55 degrees. If the temperature is unreliable, uh, then the true temperature, T, belongs to all the set of possible uh, temperatures. Now, if we know that T, the thermometer, is reliable in the context uh, minus 38 degrees to uh, 365 uh, degrees Celsius, uh, so it is the range of the Mercury thermometers, and otherwise it is unreliable. So what can we conclude if the thermometer said uh, it is 55 degrees Celsius? Then here we can conclude that, uh, okay, it is 55 thermometer, or it is a temperature that is not in the range of uh, the Mercury. Um, now we can also have some partial, some partially reliable uh, things, as the thermometer is partially reliable with a one degree, which means that when it gives a temperature T, the true one is between T minus one and T uh, plus one. Then, in this case, the true temperature would be between uh, fifty-five, uh, uh, fifty-four, sorry, and fifty. Uh, you can also be biased of uh, one degree. Uh, bias. So, so here, um, uh, uh, in fact, here, here it is not partially reliable, it is a bias. You, you have to, the, the true one is T plus one degree, etc. So you can imagine plenty of uh, different uh, source, uh, source uh, qualities. Uh, also, the, the information on the quality of the source may also be uncertain and imprecise. One way to, 
to when one may believe to some degree that T is reliable. So here it is different because here we were sure about uh, the bias or the, the correction to do, but this correction can un, we, are, we may not be sure about the correction to, to do. So in this case, it is why we use the belief function theory uh, to model, in fact, uh, this correction uh, adjustment of the quality of the source in order to, to use it. So let's uh, make uh, an illustration. So again, now we consider a variable x taking its value in a finite set. So instead of omega here, the finite set is a, a, a calligraphic x. So you want to know the value of this variable x. Uh, and you have a source of information which, pro uh, which provides uh, a piece of information which is represented as a mass function. So here, it is a, a classical notation for a mass function where you, you put um, in, uh, in curly braces uh, the variable. Uh, here it is the source S and here the frame of discernment uh, calligraphic uh, X. So a source of information N. And now you have some, what we call meta knowledge about the information and the quality of the source. Is it reliable, trustful, biased? And the frame uh, dealing with uh, the, the, the quality of the source is called uh, H, okay. and is, is denoted by H. H is the set of possible states of S. So we have here, we have two frames, um, X, the frame, uh, of, um, of the truth and age the, the, the possible states of S. And the, the, the question is how to correct the mass function according to the information on age. Uh, so the main objective of this presentation is not to go to, to go deeper, but to, to give you a, an overview of correction models and their justification and derivation. Okay, because in fact, uh, belief functions also an important thing. Belief function is a, a mathematical theory. So all the things can be justified. Uh, axiomatically with proposition, etc. Uh, I, I, um, I say this because, in fact, in, in our community, uh, we have two, 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 um, two, two, two particular kind of researchers, but uh, again, uh, it, I, I do not want to, to, to oppose them, but in fact, I, I, I would just say that you can make some theoretical works on belief function, and you can make some uh, applications work. And uh, one point of this theory is to be uh, usable in practice. Okay. And in practice, we, we, we often have to, 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 to adjust the model with uh, some particular kind of, uh, of things for, for the application. Okay. For example, when we build belief function, uh, we can say that we, we, we built an uh, arbitrary belief function and it is sometimes in application, it is, it is okay, we, we, we have decided, we have decided uh, this. Okay, so uh, the main objective, so it is to give you an overview of a uh, correction model as well as their justification and derivations. So, and to show how to automatically learn them. So, so this, it is kind of um, a work that we, in fact, we do this with uh, in. Um, and uh, it will show you the illustration of the flexibility and expressivity power of the belief function theory. Uh, so, uh, sorry, so here's the outline of my presentation. I'm going to, to present. So the first, the first way to correct a mass function uh, historically, it is called the, the discounting uh, operation. Um, and then uh, uh, I 
think I'm, I'm going to, to skip this and present a, a general frame, which is called the, the, the behavior based correction. I think this one is, is very interesting. Uh, uh, okay, I think I'm going to, according to the time I have, I think I'm going to present the discounting and the behavior base. Uh, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, okay, so we start with the discounting. So it comes from the seminal books of uh, Schaeffer. Um, the discounting of a mass function M is defined by uh, this uh, formula. In fact, we have a discount rate alpha belonging to zero one. And uh, we discount a mass function by multiplying each mass by one minus alpha and the mass of omega, we, we put plus alpha. So I'm going to explain this uh, uh, here and uh, to see where, where does it co come from. So, but just here, just first an example. So we consider a frame of discernment with three elements, x1, x2, x3. Uh, for example, we have a mass 0.2 on x1, a mass, a mass 0.4 on x2, and a, a mass 0.4 on x1, x2. And we, we use a discount rate uh, equal to 2.2. Then what, what uh, arrived is this. The mass given to x1 was originally of 0.2, and it is weakened uh, lower. Uh, the, the value now is smaller, and it is uh, 0.16. Uh, again, for, for x2, the mass now is sub 2, uh, is lower, lower. And we can see that the mass on the empty set, uh, oh, sorry, on the and the universe uh, is uh, greater. And so, so you can see that, in fact, when you discount what we call a discounting of, this, of a mass function, is that now the information uh, is um, uh, the, the, the masses are, are transferred to omega, in fact, to the universe, to, to x. Here. Okay, we, we discounting the information is to uh, is to have a least committed uh, mass uh, function. So we, if we look at it in terms of uh, transfer, of mass transfer, we can see that for each focal element B of the mass, you, you a, post, a percentage one minus alpha M stay on B and the percentage alpha go goes to the, the universe. So a part one, one minus alpha m, m remains on B, and the part alpha ms is transferred to x. So you see that we took about a part uh, alpha m of, on each focal set to the, to, the, to the universe. And this, in fact, um, can be represented using the, the matrix, the matrix calculus, um, the co uh, confers the article of Lee Smith from 2002. Uh, so in fact, more generally, the discounting is a generalization of M. Okay, meaning that you can define alpha M as the sum of the MD using here a generalization matrix. And this generalization matrix is defined uh, by, by this. And it is represented here. So again, using the same order, the same binary order for the vector uh, M. Uh, we have, if A equal B uh, and different from uh, X, we have one minus alpha in the diagonal of the matrix. And alpha here and one here, in fact. And what does it mean is that if you, uh, maybe I have an example after. Yes. So, what does it mean is this. So, we consider the same mass function defining as, as, as 0.2 for x1, 0.4 for x2, and 0.4 for 
for x1, x2. If you, if you want to compute the discounting mass function, you just have to multiply the generalization matrix by this mass function. So here it is the generalized uh, matrix associated with the discounting. So beta, beta is, is equal to one minus alpha and is equal here to 0 0.8. So here you have 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and the alpha is equal to 0 0.2. So if you multiply this, the mass function by this matrix, you obtain the, the same result as uh, the one expressed by uh, this equation. So this equation here is equivalent to this uh, formula where the generalization matrix is defined like this. So again, one minus alpha, you, you can call it beta, and we have this expression, okay? So that's why, in fact, uh, for the implementation of uh, mass function, uh, it is very uh, convenient to, to use this uh, ma matrix uh, notation. Uh, now, where does it come from, in fact, this, uh, um, how, can we, how can we justify uh, this uh, uh, discounting, which, which was introduced by, by Schaeffer in an intuitive, intuitive way? The, the intuition between this is that you, you want to, to keep a percentage beta of the mass on the masses and you transfer you transfer on omega on the universe which is x here you transfer a percentage alpha so this was the, the original idea of uh, of Schaeffer but it, what, what I want to to show here is that you have an, an ID but you 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 have in this theory some uh, model to make uh, inference. And here it is so, uh, in 1903, so some years uh, later, uh, Smets proposed a first uh, uh, theoretical justification, in fact, of this discounting. And in this justification, so we have the, the source outputting this uh, value ms, and the meta knowledge can be represented uh, like this. We know that the source is reliable or not reliable. Okay. Uh, so our state uh, of, um, of belief for the universe uh, about the reliability is going to be composed of just two elements. Uh, sorry, uh, R meaning that the source is reliable and not R meaning that the source is not reliable. If the source is reliable, then I keep what it outputs. If the source is not reliable, uh, then I cannot conclude anything. So it is the, the ignorance. And in fact, you have a degree or that the source, uh, a degree one minus alpha that the source is reliable and you don't know with a degree uh, alpha. And here, so here, in fact, it, it is a conditional mass function as well as you have a probability mass function. Um, uh, I do not have presented it. I'm going to, to present it very rapidly here. In fact, we, we see that M, uh, sorry, So it is in fact a condition. In fact, in belief function, it is very uh, easy. A mass which is conditioned by by B, okay. In fact, it is equal to M uh, conjunctively combined uh, with uh, MB. Just, just a simple definition. So it is easy. For example, you, you consider that the, the truth is in A and, and you learn that for sure the truth is in B. The truth is in B. Ah, okay. So now my, my, I transfer the mass uh, on each focal set of M to their intersection with B. 
Okay, so I, I recall MB is a logical mass function so, so that the mass MB is equal to the Y. Okay, so that's the definition of the conditioning. And then the discounting is uh, formally defined by this formula. So uh, I'm going to, 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 to explain it. Uh, in fact, we have, well, in probability theory, you have the conditioning. And in a belief function, it is possible to decondition an information, to decondition it. Uh, this, in fact, is correspond to this. This mass is given on x, and you can decondition it. Decondition. Okay, so, up, up, this. This, in fact, is a. Uh, the so the the so so you you can decondition the information. It means that uh, you have a conditional mass function, for example, on B, um, and and you want to retrieve a mass function that would give the same if condition. And so here there are several considerations. I'm not going to, to go into the details, but ju just keep in mind that it is just a, a, a decondition. It is, a, it is a, the, the fact that it is possible to, to, uh, to, to use different uh, uh, space. So up, um, up. I see. Okay. So uh, I, I understand that here it is um, a bit um, difficult here. So you, you can do this, this kind of uh, mathematical things with a uh, belief function. So, uh, oh, yes, I, I have um, so, some recall. So what, what, is not, what is denoted with this simple uh, row is the projection and the uh, and the uh, um, marginalization and the uh, expansion. In fact, so if you, if you have a, a mass function defined on a product space, so for example, M is defined on uh, X1 times X2, okay, you, you, you can marginalize, so uh, it is the same in probability, you can marginalize the result on, uh, on a, uh, a, a universe. So, for example, if your mass is given uh, on uh, x1 times x2 and you marginalize on x1, it means that you just want the result according to the universe x1. And you can do it by transferring each mass function mb with b a subset of x1 times x2 to the projection of b on x1. And it is, it is just the definition of this row um, uh, pointing uh, down on x1. It means that for each uh, the mass function on A is the sum of the, on the mass function on B defined on the product space, so that the projection of B on x1 is given by A. So just consider an example here. So here you have a, a mass function defined on x1 times x2. Here it is x2, here it is x1, and here b is an example of a focal set. So b is a, is a subset of x1 times x2. And you want to marginalize this result on x1. It means that you, you do not want to know the information uh, uh, on x2. You just want the information on x1. So it corresponds to the projection of this uh, focal set on X1. So what you want is just 
the value on x1 and it gives this uh, subset. Now, now imagine that, and now the converse, imagine that you have uh, a mass function defined on x1, okay, like this one, a is a subset of x1, and you want to, 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 to retrieve the original focal set on x2. Uh, it is not possible. You, 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 have lost, uh, you have lost information. Uh, you cannot retrieve the, ori the original one, but you can find, in fact, the, 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 the more general, the one that is more general. And so when we note this uh, uh, with this arrow uh, pointing up, uh, we, it, it corresponds to this operation of uh, vacuous extension. Is that you, you cannot retrieve the original B, so you choose uh, the B that can that gives you the A and that contains all the possibilities. Okay, so you have lost uh, information, but you 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 succeed to have a representation on this uh, uh, power uh, on, on this product set. So it is this operation is called uh, the vacuous uh, extension. And in fact, we have the same things for the conditioning. So with D included in uh, X2, the conditioning of a mass uh, uh, function uh, defined on the product set is denoted by MD, so, um, okay, and defined by uh, this. So as I have uh, explained, you combine your mass function with the categorical uh, mass function on D, but you want the result on, um, you want, sorry, you want to, to, uh, to, to make a combination with this uh, frame, okay? So you, you have to, to vacuously extend the mass on X2 to have a mass on the same, on the same universe. What, what is important when you do a combination is to have, um, to have mass function defined on the same power. It is very important because sometimes uh, we can see some problem because people have, have combining mass function defined on, on, on frame of discernment that are different. Okay, no, you, you cannot combine directly like this. To combine information, you have to combine mass function defined on the same, on the same universe. Uh, so it is important. Uh, so for example, here you have a mass function defined on, the pro on this product set, and you have this uh, uh, conditional uh, mass function. So you have to extend it to the same power set, okay, to the same, sorry, uh, universe to, to, to be able to combine them. And um, what, what, what we have now, uh, is that we want the result only on X1. So if you want the result only of, of on X1, then you, you marginalize on X1, you project uh, on, uh, on uh, X1. Uh, so here is a, an illustration. Uh, you have your, your mass function defined on X1 times X2, okay, so on the product space. Here, a focal, uh, a focal uh, element, and you know, you know, uh, and you want to know, sorry, this uh, conditional mass function according to D, but according to uh, the truth in X2 is in D. In fact, you learn, here you learn that uh, uh, the, the, the truth in, in, X, in X2 is that the, the, the value belongs to D, okay? So for X2, you, you have this information that the truth belongs to D. So what is now your information on X1, knowing that the focal set was this? But then it is given by this formula, which is in fact that you, you, you actually extend this. So it is what is represented by this element here, this here. Uh, correspond to the focal element of this mass function, in fact. And now you combine conjunctively with the mass function. So the, the, the mass is going to the intersection of B and D times 
uh, theta one, and you project it on x one to have the result here. Okay, so um, this is a, an illustration on how you you can mix uh, information represented on different uh, universe by by playing with the uh, with the product uh, the product space. Okay. Um, okay. And now you can do the same. So for you have the marginalization, the converse is the vacuous extension. You have the discounting, and then the converse is the deconditioning. And the idea, I am not going to go in detail, but, but the idea is that you have a conditional mass function on uh, X1, and you want to find the more generalized, uh, the more generalized, the more, sorry, the more general, the more general mass function, or we, we say in fact the, the least committed one, the least committed mass function defined on the product space, such, such that you retrieve this conditional mass function, and in fact it 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 um, it, it, it yields um, this uh, subset uh, B here. So to 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 summarize, in fact, in Billy function we have marginalized. Marginalization, uh, vacuous extension, conditioning, and a deconditioning. Okay, it means that it allows us to to transfer the information on different uh, spaces, uh, which is in fact a very convenient in, in practice. So it allows us to compute this uh, discounting expression. Uh, so we are not going to do the computation. Uh, in fact, you can do you can um, see this in this. Uh, in fact, in this article, you have the. the but it is it is a uh, it is computation. You compute and you have the, this uh, this uh, result. Um, yes, a, a remark, a simpler expression. Uh, instead of writing things like that, you can write them. Uh, like this, alpha m. So it is the expression. This is the discounting of m with a degree alpha is equal to one minus alpha, uh, this one, plus alpha, the categorical mass function on x. Okay, m of x is equal one, and in fact this expression is the same as uh, as this. In fact. Um, because here, in fact, you, you multiply each element of M and you make plus alpha the element of M, uh, M uh, X, um, but you, you, you only have a, a mass equal to one for X. So you have this for X and you have this plus zero for all the other elements. Um, Another um, another uh, uh, other definitions that um, are of interest uh, is the notion of a, a simple mass function and negative simple mass function. Uh, a mass function m defined by m of x equal uh, so let's say a value uh, omega uh, not omega but w uh, and m of a is equal to one minus w. So a simple mass function has only two focal sets, one of them being uh, x. So a simple mass function, you have x, you have x as a focal element plus another one, uh, let's say a, uh, with a mass function one minus um, uh, w, and with w belonging to zero one and a, a, sub, a strict subset of x. And this simple mass function can be conveniently uh, noted as a uh, to the power w. And it is called a simple mass function, and you can represent it uh, like, like this. So a simple mass function, you will have two, two focal elements, the universe with a mass uh, omega, uh, w, sorry, 
and the uh, A with the mass uh, one minus W. Uh, and you can have the converse of a, um, of a, a simple mass function, which is a mass with a, 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 a mass function with the empty set as a focal element and a another uh, uh, set a with another focal element and can be combinated limited by a and so a um, with a v as an index and it's called a, a negative simple mass function and with this uh, so the discounting expression you can have also you can have sorry uh, other uh, expression uh, and you you can in fact using the negative simple mass function you can you can see that and the disjunctive operator uh, presented uh, in my first talk uh, you can see that in fact the um, discounting corresponds to the to a disjunctive combination with this uh, mass uh, function uh, and here, I think I'm going to present. Uh, so we have developed other contextual correction, but I think one of a very interesting one is called the behavior based correction because it is very uh, uh, general. Uh, so um, so you, you, you can find the, the uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going and I will give the references at the end. So let's say a source provides a mass function M. Uh, on the on the universe uh, Y, the state uh, or configuration H in which state the source is described by the mass function M H so, uh, as uh, as usual. And for all subset A of uh, Y, you have a function uh, gamma A defined from H to uh, the power of, uh, of um, x, so gamma a is a multi-valued uh, mapping, and it, anti it indicates how to interpret the piece of information, so why, so the truth we are looking in this first set, in, uh, in this, and for each state h. So this model, in fact, is the is the most uh, general. Uh, you, you have a, a, a set H associated with the, 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 the states of, of how to interpret the source. So uh, for example, in the discounting pro process, uh, maybe I put example after, oh, okay. Uh, H1, in fact, is reliable, H2 is not reliable, and you just have two elements uh, in H. Okay. Uh, I can make that. Um, for example, in the discounting process, in the discounting process, you you have in H you have two elements, R the source is reliable and not R, the source is not reliable. So R and not R. And here you have uh, X. And if the source is reliable, then you, you keep you, you keep what it said. So if, for example, is, if it said uh, this, but you, you, you keep the same. And if it's not so reliable, you transfer it to the, to the wall frame. For the discounting case, in fact, it corresponds to, to, to this. Okay. But, um, so, just, but so, so this is why it is a, um, a very general model. And I give here some, some examples. So we consider again uh, our thermometer, and uh, we consider a thermometer that can be uh, reliable. So what it outputs is correct approximately reliable if, if it provides the temperature t the true one is t minus one t or t plus one or unreliable what it outputs is incorrect so in this model um, so we have x equal to uh, y is equal to x it, it corresponds to the set of temperature 
the state H uh, um, indicating how to interpret the piece of information are reliable, approximately reliable, and unreliable. And gamma A, so this, this function here, is defined as follow. So for a subset A, if the source is reliable, okay, we then we keep the temperature, uh, we keep the, the set A that uh, it outputs. If it is approximate, then we make the union of the temperature in A um, to, to consider, in fact, uh, this. And if it is unreliable, then we cannot keep the temperature in A. We consider that uh, the temperature um, are in a greater X. Okay. Um, that is all. So now, how can we compute the final result from uh, this uh, information? So we have this information, and the third piece of, inform of evidence defines a relation between H, uh, two to the power Y, that we call it uh, Z to, to, to sum up, and uh, Y. And it can be represented using this uh, logical mass uh, function. Okay. Uh, the first piece of evidence is uh, this. And in fact, so as well, we use our method of uh, um, marginalization and extension. So we have then a, uh, an information defined on this. And so to combine with an information on this, uh, and in fact, we, we use the, the uh, intuitively, in fact, we, we use the, the different power set to obtain a, a result. And this result is given by this uh, uh, formula here, which is called the, the BBC. So uh, yes, so just see an example from maybe uh, I'm going too fast. Um, uh, in fact, what, what we have is here we retrieve the state uh, in which uh, the source can stand and the output here. So, and let's say how we retrieve the discounting uh, in this. So here it is a very, a very general one where the, your final decision, you, you, you want the information on Y and you have originally an information on Y. But in the, in the, in the uh, discounting, we have the same uh, frame of descending. So, here, the, the starting point is m of y is equal to mx of s. And the state in which the source can stand is reliable or unreliable. And the, the interpretation of this state uh, is given by the function gamma a, such that if the source is reliable, a is transferred to a, a stays in a. And if the source is reliable, gamma of a, enfin, a is transferred to uh, the, the power set. And we have an original uh, um, information about the reliability and all reliability of the source, which is given by this. Okay. And we retrieve, in fact, if we apply uh, this formula, we have m of h here. So M of H, we have beta. Um, beta, and if, if uh, I go back here, uh, beta M of H times the sum of the masses of game of A. Donc, um, so for example, reliable, we keep, we keep the mass if we are reliable. So M of me times this, we retrieve in fact here, ms and unreliable alpha it corresponds to this we have here alpha times uh, the sum of the masses and here we always transfer to x so we have 
็คือสุอาอาอันต่อจากนี้เราจะไปต่อแต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ตอนนี้ก็ใช่แต่ On uh, of uh, an element x i, okay. So we define this uh, gamma, and we have um, uh, the fact to be reliable, which is equal to beta, and the fact to reinforce a particular element of the of of, of the element of the plane is equal to alpha, and we have this formula. And in fact, this it was interesting um, when we developed, in fact. Uh, An application uh, in uh, um, in Vanets, okay. So it, it is um, a vehicle to vehicle uh, communication, okay. So vehicles exchange messages about uh, events uh, happening on the road, uh, and the information uh, given about each event e is represented uh, in each message by by a, a mass function. Uh, Uh, where uh, an, an event exists on the road, or this event uh, doesn't exist uh, on the road. Um, for example, it, if you, I, do, uh, uh, I don't know if you are using Waze uh, in Indonesia. Yes. Do you have Waze? <laughs> uh, yes, but not, not not always using Waze. Usually, uh, Google Google ah, okay. direction is enough. Ah, okay. Not, okay. Not nice. so, um, it, so it was uh, during a project we were using that the, an application where you 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 talk about uh, uh, oh it exists uh, an element of the road and uh, uh, so the frame of this sentiment was uh, this for event E exists and this um, doesn't exist for the event E um, doesn't exist on the road. And uh, we we had uh, two strategies for modeling uh, messages uh, agents about, uh, for example, uh, accident of the road. Um, either we we make a, a discounting between we have a, a mass saying that uh, we have an exit an accident, but over time we don't know if the accident is present. Okay, but the and um, we have also another strategy which. Uh, which was given by this formula, meaning that uh, we have an accident and we have a mass function according to the accident. And over time, we think the event is going to disappear. Uh, and so this can be modeled by this uh, formula. We combine, um, the, uh, 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 so we have a, a discount of the mass function plus alpha, the, the categorical mass function, Uh, on the fact that there is uh, uh, no accident, okay. So, well, in, in fact, at, at the end we have um, this kind of uh, addition of uh, addition of uh, mass function, and uh, it, it corresponds as you 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 we can in fact we can generalize this. Um, uh, in fact. For example, if you have a situation M1, a situation M2, and a situation M3, uh, you, you can define a mass function as a, I don't know, a, a mu, mu1 times M, M1 plus uh, mu2 times M2 plus mu3 times M3, such that uh, uh, mu1 plus uh, mu2 plus mu3 is equal to, to 1. So, okay, you you have a kind of um, um, uh, weighted weighted uh, average. Um, yeah, so what? So see, so it it was an example of how concretely uh, this kind of uh, model uh, can be uh, simply used.
So, and the experiment mentions that the second strategy, in fact, yields a, a better adequacy to the reality in this way. At the moment, there is no accident. Um, I don't know, if, but ju just a quick message. Uh, in fact, here we, we talk, I, I talk about um, uh, discounting. You have a, a mass function and uh, you, you make it um, uh, 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 with a list, a, a list commitment. And now we can talk about uh, uh, what, in fact, it is um, the subject of, of research of uh, in. Um, it, it's about uh, uh, conditional, uh, sorry, uh, contextual correction. Um, the, the idea is that the reliability is not limited to relevance. So it was first uh, at the beginning. Um, uh, trustfulness has a, another di dimension. So if the source is trustful, uh, it gives the information it has. And if a source is not trustful, intentionally or not, it declares the contrary of what it knows. So it is the crudest force uh, form. Okay. Uh, so here, in fact, we wanted to add uh, a dimension of uh, a bias. In fact, you, you, can, you can be trustful, you give the information you have, but you are not relevant. You, in fact, you, you, you do not know exactly the true answer. So this is why uh, the idea of this uh, model is to consider this um, couple of uh, states um, with R meaning the source is relevant and T the source is trustful. And we have uh, this uh, interpretation. So if the source uh, uh, says the, the truth is in A, okay, and it is relevant and it is uh, trustful, then okay, the, 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 the answer is indeed in A. Now, if the source says the truth is in A, uh, it is uh, relevant, but not trustful. Okay, so with the, with the, the crudest form we have chosen for being not trustful, uh, it means that the truth is on the uh, is the uh, the complementary of A. Okay. And now, if the source is not relevant, uh, you cannot conclude anything. You cannot take into account the, the information uh, it says, and uh, we have this uh, thing. Uh, so let's say now that you have um, a probability uh, uh, p of being reliable and a probability q of being not uh, of being trustful. Uh, in this case, we can define uh, the mass on this subset by these um, values, and the BBC gives uh, this uh, result. Uh, in fact, it is a, a weighted uh, average of uh, the mass given by the source, the, the negation of the mass, and the mass. Um, the negation of the mass, uh, I don't have um, defined it. It is, it is just like this. The, okay. So the negation of a mass, it is defined by the negation of the mass of A is equal to M of A uh, bar. Okay. The negation of a mass is defined by this, uh, this uh, formula. Um, so um, not trustful corresponds to the assumption that the source is not trustful for all values. Okay. And um, we can be a, a more uh, subtle, uh, in fact, uh, for the lack of trustfulness, being that the source is not trustful for some values uh, xi of x, and trustful for the other values. Uh, so we denote a state uh, ta 
um, meaning that the source is truthful for the values in A and untruthful for the values in A bar. So TA, it means trustful for the values in A and untruthful for the values in A bar. State T corresponds to the state. So if the source is trustful, then it is trustful with the to so, so it is trustful for all the elements uh, in X. So it corresponds to TX. If the source is not trustful, then it is trustful for the values in the empty set. So it corresponds to this element. Okay. Now suppose that the source indicates that the that um, the true value, the search true value, belongs to a subset B of X. And the source is in state TA. Okay, so trustful for the values in A, untrustful for the value in A bar. What can we conclude for X? So uh, here, it is a representation of the set B. Okay, so here you have the element of X. Okay. And the element of X are represented here like, like, like this. So, and you know that the source is in state TA. So trustful for the values in A. So here we represent the subset A, which can be like this. So, and here, if the source is trustful for the values in A, it means that what it says when the XI belong to A is true. So we have this. And untrustful for the values in A bar. So in A bar, if the, if, 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 um, if the source says it belongs to, we have the, um, we have the converse, in fact. Here, we have this. Uh, meaning that, for example, here, the source that it, the truth is not this element, so it is untrustful. So on the contrary, it is a possible solution for um, the true value. And as well for this, we have this, and this corresponds to, in fact, uh, if we make the operation, uh, it corresponds to B intersected with A, so this element, union uh, B bar intersected with A bar, which is uh, this uh, operation. And here, in fact, it is to uh, a, a correction mechanism that we call um, a contextual uh, negating. Okay. So now, after, in fact, we have um, defined other clauses and it is to other, um, to, to other uh, correction. Um, um, maybe um, if uh, um, so we define other correction and uh, I think I can go to some application. Yes, so, so in fact, what, what we have developed, we can uh, use it for classifications, okay? Um, and we, 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 ca we can improve the uh, result of uh, evidential classifier, uh, the one developed by Thierry Deneu in this uh, package. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, as, um, as I said, So uh, before working in my uh, university, uh, I work in a, in a firm um, for uh, um, building a machine uh, to, to classify, oops, to classify um, in fact the letter and recognize in fact the postal addresses uh, which are on, uh, on, this, uh, on this letter. And uh, they, they, they choose to, to, um, to develop um, uh, some method for uh, information, uh, fusion information, in fact, information fusion. 
uh, and they decide in fact to buy some sort of and classifier from uh, competitors to to fuse them to 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 succeed to 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 recognize better the the, the addresses and uh, in fact we, with this uh, learning method uh, we, we succeed to 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 improve uh, 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 so, so 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 in a summary here i have just i have in fact i have presented the discounting uh, so which which is not the unique mechanism to adjust to correct uh, a source of information uh, you can find many numerous corrections built from the the bbc um, uh, and um, so the contextual corrections that we have developed and um, uh, so it is in paper to say so this is here so this is the paper where you have what is called the, the bbc Uh, so I'm going to put it in the so any question from participant maybe hello <laughs> yes, uh, sorry, it in fact, more in a more complex domain. Uh, <laughs> <the second> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I understand that um, it was not, uh, if, if, if it was the first time, effectively, it was difficult. But um, wh what I wanted to, to show you is that uh, one advantage of, the, of this theory is to be able to 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 work with a compatible frame of discernment, uh, and that intuitively also you have an idea of defining deconditioning operation on the fact that you can transfer information from sets to 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 other sets. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, uh, Professor David, uh, one question from me. Uh, I was wa wondering of uh, the project of Fanets uh, in slides. Uh, I forget. Oh yeah, yeah. Certain, uh, certain age maybe. Thirty something. I don't know exactly. Ah yes, this is. Uh, how did you deliver messages about events happening on the road? Uh, in fact, we were using uh, Bluetooth. In fact, it was the idea of, uh, of um, uh, uh, normally, which, uh, in fact, it can be used, in, it is a point-to-point -point protocol. The oh. idea was either a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth. In fact, we, we had uh, an engineer um, uh, which had uh, implemented it with um, uh, uh, Bluetooth, in fact. The idea was to make uh, not a real application, but um, a, a maquette, I don't know uh, how to say, in, uh, you know, um, a proof of concept, in fact. The mm -hmm. idea was to develop a proof of concept uh, that uh, it was possible to, to instead of having uh, uh, messaging for sure. The idea uh, was to was to put a, a, a value. Um, I think I have the the article. Um, I'm going to show you. Um, so you use a uh, real time data, no? Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. But uh, yes, and uh, but the the the. Uh, the majority of the data we use at the end was the uh, simulation. Oh, okay. fact, we developed a, a simulator, uh, and it was just a, a one-year uh, uh, engineer uh, to, to, for, for trying to, to implement uh, <laughs> it uh, as, a, in fact, a, a proof of concept. OK. Um,
So, any other question from participants, from students, no, or teacher? No. Bu, Bain, teman dari saya, Bain. Ya, silakan, Mbak. In English or Indonesia, please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Uh, for David, it is so, so interesting. Um, but uh, as you said, that it is too compli complicated. I think. Yeah. Is it uh, the one that you have just presented? Is uh, for the bachelor degree or beyond the bachelor degree level? And um, other question is. Um, uh, I, I saw that your proper presentation that uh, you said a variable A, B, C, or maybe X1, X2, and X3. Uh, is it possible to have more than three variables to apply the uh, dumpster shaper method? Uh, and that, uh, the third one, uh, you have just uh, present that, uh, presented that. Uh, Dempster Safer can be used to, uh, to can be implemented in AI application. Uh, is it possible to apply a uh, Dempster Safer uh, outside the AI, such as maybe in the computer network or others? Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, in fact, yeah, yeah, yes, you can. Uh, uh, if, um, uh, about the, the, the implementation of the method um, uh, in, in the uh, Billy Function and Application Society website, uh, you, you will find here um, a software to, toolbox uh, to implement. And uh, in, um, uh, for example, you can, uh, you can so there is also a, a first implementation in Python. Uh, Python is a, is a very uh, interesting uh, uh, program uh, language that is uh, used in in plenty of uh, of domain uh, uh, artificial intelligence but also uh, me for example i'm teaching um, uh, in uh, 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 networks in fact and uh, you know uh, ip address uh, tcp udp and uh, cyber defense and uh, this uh, this uh, program language is also used to uh, to make some uh, tra uh, some uh, networks uh, uh, traffic. Okay, uh, you have um, um, a library called uh, uh, Scapy, which uh, allows you to to to, to craft uh, packets. Uh, of, 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 okay, and um, uh, in so, so the implementation of Python, uh, Python, sorry, uh, is, is interesting. Um, and uh, so, sorry, so, so um, but I, I agree that uh, we we should have, but um, that what I, I really want to do it with uh, in is to to make a, a, a simple, a very simple and direct uh, use of the Schaefer in a very simple uh, uh, simple way to, to compute uh, things. So, uh, uh, for, for, for example, uh, all this kind of model, in fact, you will have the, the theoretical part in scientific uh, article, okay? But uh, if you want just to, to use them, uh, uh, we, we, I agree that we should, we should have a, a software version and to, to, to use it, um, uh, uh, directly, uh, as you as you see here, uh, it's in, uh, I, I don't so I don't remember uh, by art uh, the the computation, but all the computation uh, presented in in the, in the talk I, I just um, uh, I have just uh, 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 given uh, all this kind of thing. You, you can do it uh, in a very very in a very simplified manner. Uh, using uh, R, and I think, but I think uh, in can show you this uh, <laughs> effectively. But okay, so so uh, maybe I, I I did not answer the second because there were several parts uh, in the question, so I'm not sure I have answer all the parts. Maybe uh, the second one uh, I don't remember. Uh, but uh, uh, what I want to to I think if I the, the, 
maybe so in a, in a, in a, in a summary in a, in a yes in, in the summary i can say that the the, the main things to 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 to, to see uh, is uh, here you, you go to talk uh, you go here okay and to this i may maybe the, here it was yes this one is about classification so i see the most in in a summary if you want to to know more you, you just have to to look at these three lectures okay given here and uh, uh, and we will do and very quickly we will give you an R package with him to 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 implement this it is our goal i think that in a in a, in a summary i think it, it, it would be very interesting to to do this and if you if you if you want to to do this very rapidly and you are not uh, a bit patient you can you can explain you can use uh, the some uh, uh, evidential classifier here okay here you you add them uh, in um, in R uh, your, your microphone in if you you have your, your microphone in Ah, your microphone, you, you, I can't hear you in. I can't hear you in. Okay, if I don't know if you want to speak. Uh, microphone, Mbak Siti. Mati. I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, I, I just, um, uh, what I want to say. <laughs> so if you, if you want to uh, compute, if you want to develop, um, uh, a application uh, using this theory, uh, you can use uh, our library. So, uh, uh, jadi kami sudah membangun sebuah library R, uh, tapi belum dipublish sih. Mungkin tahun ini akan dipublish. Jadi uh, terbuka untuk public open source. Begitu ya. Um, kita lihat waktu sudah jam lima ya. Uh, now time is over. Uh, if there is no more question, uh, the lecture will be ended soon. And uh, we would like to thank Professor David Marseille. Thank you for your. Uh, thank you. Thank you to you. <laughs> It was uh, potentially useful for us to develop new ideas of research, especially for. Uh, those who are interested in uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, once again, thank you very much, and uh, see you next time. Au revoir and yes. bye. Au revoir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Have a good uh, Have a good evening. Yeah, good morning for you. <laughs> bye. 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 Hmm. Ini Mbak ya. Uh, sudah ya berarti sudah selesai. Iya, sudah Iya, oke, okay. terima kasih kepada pemateri dan juga kepada Mbak Siti sebagai moderator. Okay. Memang hmm, menariknya materi ini nanti kita bisa pelajari lagi nanti memang enggak tidak harus langsung dipahami uh, pada saat ini karena nanti ada ada rekamannya dan harus dipelajari pelan-pelan tapi sangat uh, potensinya sangat bagus untuk uh, riset dan mungkin kalau yang deskripsi atau tesis ini bisa jadikan sebagai alternatif alternatif yang sangat bagus sekali menurut saya juga nah nanti dari penelitia akan ada apa akan ada rekamannya dan akan kita berikan kepada peserta juga rekamannya dan diposting di ini, di website mungkin dari saya begitu saja dari panitia Mbak Siti yeah. kalau sudah mungkin kita bisa sudahi sudahi dulu ya yeah. terima kasih yeah. assalamualaikum warahmatullah terima kasih Mbak It oke masih untuk ininya presentasinya nanti saya kirimkan ya Mbak Siti ya ya terima kasih Mungkin uh, pada para peserta boleh saya boleh uh, sudah bisa keluar ruangan silahkan nanti segera saya end uh, ininya.
lengkap uh, roomnya. Sudah jam 5.